so next uh, let us implement post method for uh, both our uh, tables employee and department so the we use post method to insert data into the table so let's start by implementing the post method for departments table or departments controller so let's write public the return type will be a string we'll just say whether added successfully or failed to add we'll name it as post and we expect department type as input so let's put this in a try catch block so in try if everything is successful we'll return add it successfully okay and in try in catch block will return fail to add okay so now let's we'll do one thing we'll copy the same um, method from uh, the get method and just change the query the query that we have to change is instead of select it, it has to be an insert query so let's delete this and start writing insert into dbo dot sorry departments <coughs> values we will say plus dep dot department name plus um, okay so this should work let's check okay we need to add an add symbol here so so that uh, we are able to do this multi line string So the string ends here so that is the reason we have added at symbol here so insert into department dbo dot departments values and we'll pass the department name which was passed as a input uh, mostly json input <clears throat> so let's test this again in postman let's start the server Let's do a select star from dbo dot departments in the meanwhile so that we know what data we have. So we have two rows finance and IT. So let's try to insert another record using the API post method. So the server is about to start let's copy the url and test in postman application we'll open up a new tab and we'll paste the url and the url is api slash department let's change the method to post and what is the input that we have to give is the department in department details in json format so let's do that we'll choose uh, raw and uh, type will be json okay so 
first thing we have we don't have to pass department id but as a json we have to pass input because we are expecting a department type object so let's pass department id and uh, pass null so we don't need that but we'll still pass as null so we'll pass department id as null and department name we'll pass uh, what data we have we have i have finance it so let's pass support okay so we have the body so now let's send so we got the response as added successfully right so let's just verify that by executing the select query again so we have three rows now let's try to implement the same thing uh, the same I mean the post method for the employee table So we'll copy the same method and uh, post paste it in uh, the employee controller and what we expect here is the employee object so we need to import using system dot sorry web api dot models okay so now let's write the insert query for inserting into employee table okay. so we'll say insert into dbo dot employees So we have employee name and uh, department mail ID and finally date of joining. And then we have to write values so first is the employee name emp dot employee name plus um, let's have at the rate symbol and uh, okay in between the single quotes we have uh, Next, we have uh, department. Let's say comma. To pass department. Right, I'll copy this. So the next thing we have is <coughs> mail id okay and finally date of joining so that's it now let's test this one so we have insert into dbo.employees, employee name, department, uh, mail id, date of joining, values, employee name, department, mail id, doj. So let's test this now. 
meanwhile let's prepare the body we'll take up another tab post method and the url this time would be employee and in the body raw json format so first thing we have is employee id which we will pass as null <coughs> next employee name let's first check what are the values we have select star from dbo dot employees <coughs> so we have two rows um, okay so employee name this time we'll add as uh, uh, okay Mary and uh, department will be support and mail id would be mary123 at the rate gmail.com and uh, finally date of joining would be something like 2019 12th sorry may 12th okay let's send this and check fail to add okay so let's debug this and check what could be the issue let's send again So we have missed something here. We have missed a bracket here. Parenthesis. I think that was the issue. So let's check again. So this time we are able to add so let's select and check so we have added new row into the table uh, into the employee table using uh, the post api method <coughs>